Let's take a quick look at the cash flow forecaster screen in GP. To access the screen, we go to Inquiry, Financial, Cash Flow Calendar. This screen is going to show me all the detail in the summary of my cash flow projected out based on information that's in the system. Also, I have the ability to look at information that I can add in manually. For example, say I want to add in a payroll transaction for the future for, say, next week. I can add that in and then take a look at it. So this is the primary screen. and You can see I've got cash balances every day projected out. I can go even forward in time and I can see the projected cash balances. Again, this is based on information that's in the system. And we'll take a look at that information. I can drill down on a particular day. I'll drill down the 12th here and I can select checkbooks and I can see the cash balances in all my cash accounts. Also, I can see where the cash is coming from in the future and what's going out in the future. If I click on receivables, look in open, I can see I have these open items that are planning to come in on today, the 12th. I can also look at payables. I can see that I have a number of scheduled payments going out today. I can also look at manual transactions that I put in. Here I put in one for payroll. So if I go back, look at my summary screen here, this screen is summarizing the cash balances based on data within the system. Now let's look at the setup. To go to the setup, I'm going to go to Tools, Financial Cash Flow Forecast. Now I've set up one default forecast, and apparently you could have as many as you want to and have varying sets of data in there. So for example, what I've done here is I've added these four checking accounts into this, my forecast. I've also added receivable information and payables information. And I've also added cash flow transactions. And what these are, if I click this open, these are manual transactions that can be added in to anticipate future expenditures or future receipts. You can also notice that on the customer receivables, I can use the due date or I can use average days. And this is going to look at the average days per customer and then give me that forecast look. So this is a very simple screen in GP. And frankly, I find that most people are not using it. But it gives you information about your forecast in the future. You can certainly see when you, there may be dates that you have problems. You can drill down and see what's causing that problem. And if you're not using it now, you might take a look at it and see if it might be helpful.